all right in today's video we'll talk about zeitgeist we'll talk about imbue zenlink and finally ajuna we do have exciting news regarding imbue and ajuna if you've been wondering why you'll find out why it's to do with the token transfers or i should say coin transfers but you know because it is called the tge the token generation event uh, then people just tend to call them tokens but Zeitgeist have posted a tutorial on their uh, YouTube channel, on the official YouTube channel, how to create a permissionless prediction market on Zeitgeist. It is 21 minutes long, almost 22 minutes long. Uh, but if you want to find out how to create your own market, just watch this tutorial. It is very well explained. I should have probably done one of these tutorials, but they were faster than me. And it is the official channel as well. So everyone's going to be watching this, of course. Uh, but it's awesome. Now, now we know how we can actually create our own market and how we can uh, take advantage of creating something like this, but how the community can also use it. So absolutely awesome here. So do watch this tutorial if you're interested to learn how you can do that. Uh, next up, let's look at Imbue. So the crowd on airdrop whitelist giveaways. Okay, and more updates. Uh, we're not going to talk about the whitelist giveaways because that's something special. Uh, you can read this article if you want. Uh, but we will be talking about the TGE. So uh, basically they're saying here that there's going to be an airdrop for Crowdloan participants, which will be released on the 3rd of October. Those who partook in the Kusama Crowdloan sh should have received 50 imbue in the wallet at an earlier date, but they felt uh, short delivering this in a timely manner. Therefore, they decided to increase the reward by gifting everyone double the coins for the airdrop. So now they'll be airdropping 100 imbue for each crowdloan participant as a small apology for the delay. Okay, so you will be getting 100 imbue for each KSM that you've contributed towards imbue. And we'll have to see where they're gonna list. I am expecting them to list on a DEX, especially after the H or MP channel will be enabled or opened. And so, yeah good times coming for imbue participants or imbue contributors uh, so let's move on to the next topic here which is zenlink so zenlink has announced something exciting a stable amm uh, has been deployed on testnet and smart order router has been adopted uh, governance ui new x is ready for interaction with the evm contract and refactoring of the zenlink dex wasm with the gear tech version note gear tech so they will be using the gear tech uh, gear technologies uh, wasm functionality wasm smart contract functionality uh, in the near future okay this is something that's going to be exciting because as you know uh, gear are due to launch on kusama sometime at the end of this year if they will uh, hold true to their word depending if there's any kind of technical challenge that may uh, delay the release of the crowd loan uh, but uh, yeah if everything goes according to plan we should see them go live sometime in december so you will be able to contribute your ksm towards them then as it stands i'm not too happy about gear tech in the sense of the actual coin i like their technology i'm just not happy with the coin because right now as it stands all we know is that it will be used for governance it will be used for transaction fees and that's it so we can't actually get any other utility from this coin so I think that when they're going to create some utility and there are discussions internally for them to create something, uh, then I am going to be definitely uh, happier about uh, gear in the sense of actually owning the coin, right? Using the tech is different, right? I don't mind using the tech. The issue is why should I get the coin if there's no real utility apart from governance and transaction fees? So that's the thing that uh, we got to be uh, mindful of before we... A buy and again our financial advice this is just something that i'm personally doing you can do as you wish but looking at zenlink here they have changed a little bit now i have been using their decks now i haven't used that as of lately but i have been using it in the last few months as you can see here you can now connect through the different parachains here they've got bifrost they've got aster as soon as you hit aster here uh, it does give you the metamask option you can't actually connect using polka.js with aster and surprisingly there's no shidden so it's like shidden has been abandoned uh, moonbeam is here as well with metamask moon river also with metamask but as well as talisman and sub wallet if you are interested uh, so the only one that has you that does use polka.js is bifrost of course as well as talisman and sub wallet but other than that things are pretty much similar here uh, and uh, yeah, we still don't have any information on the NFT crowd loan. I believe they're going to change strategy. I don't think this is going to happen anymore. So they're looking at doing something there and they're probably going to remove this or replace this with a different name and then combine decks, which is something that we're looking forward to. Uh, voting as well is coming soon. 
but aside from that it's just uh, the usual DeFi functionalities so to me Zenlink is definitely the best decks out there because they've achieved this cross-chain functionality and they've made it easy for you to connect to all these different networks okay so that's simplicity at its finest uh, but i really don't think we should see all these dexes deploy right there are just so many dexes right now on moonbeam on moon river and a lot of these are not going to get used i think they're going to die out in this bear market the longer this bear market lasts the more we're going to see these uh, disappear right because people are not going to use them and if they don't have you if they don't have uh, enough users and they're not generating enough income then it's not going to be worth for them to continue running uh, these dexes with the cost of the vps and all that right it all depends on how expensive the vps cost is if it's only going to cost them maybe 100 to 200 bucks a month you may see them continue uh, but the development could stall because of lack of income uh, but uh, to me I'm, I'm just not seeing the benefit of owning of seeing so many dexes of having so many dexes in the ecosystem to me i mean if you've got two or three good dexes that's more than enough right uh, and Zenlink is one of those good DEXs. Again, I hold very, very little ZLK. I don't like their uh, their token simply because of the dilution that's currently happening in the market. There's just so much ZLK being distributed to people who are uh, yield farming, who are uh, uh, earning from from um, from supplying liquidity and so on. And so, to me. I mean, owning the, the token doesn't make any sense, which is why I hold a very little amount uh, just to have some skin in the game. But it's the decks that I'm excited about. I like what's coming up with these decks. I like what they're doing. So yeah, kudos to the team for the hard work. Uh, next, let's move on to Ajuna. And uh, we do have some good news here. I should have covered this a couple of days ago, but I just saw this recently. Uh, so if you don't already know, Ajuna do have a canary network called Baju and uh, this is on kusama of course and they have held the crowd loan quite some time ago a good few months ago and uh, so if you contributed to that crowd loan you are due to get your rewards which is going to happen very soon it's going to happen by the end of q3 2022 but in fact uh, there have been discussions that they're going to be distributed on the 10th of october so they are a little bit delayed uh, than they should have been here so 10th of october is the date uh, they're saying that 35% of the major rewards will be unlocked to supporters immediately. The other 65% will be reserved and unlocked linearly over the remainder of the 48-week lease period, which will end on June 7th, 2023. So that's why you need to uh, keep in mind here with regards to Bajun or Baju uh, and the rewards. And remember that it's not just 35%, it's actually more than 35%. Uh, because you will be able to claim those vested tokens and so or vested coins and so you will get more than 35 uh, percent okay uh, you just need to claim them 35 percent will be the initial that you're going to get sent directly to your wallet uh, but then you do need to claim them from the polka web wallet if you've contributed through that uh, by clicking on the three little dots next to the amount to the right of your account and then claiming the vested tokens uh, so that's how you do it okay and I have covered that in tutorials in the past. So if you if you already watched those, then you know how, how it's done. Uh, so yeah, uh, we don't know where they're going to list. I do believe they're going to list on some DEXs, but uh, I don't know if they're going to list on any centralized exchange. I'm assuming MEXC, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll have to see if they will support that. Uh, but I'm more exciting, uh, uh, excited about what's coming up. And that's the game, of course, the Mogwai game that's going to be interesting and uh, if we scroll down here there are some other hints at uh, them possibly partnering with engine if you don't already know engine is a giant when it comes to gaming uh, from the ethereum ecosystem and they've got affinity on polkadot and they're going to be migrating a lot of those games from ethereum over to polkadot and this guy here i've actually met him in berlin at polkadot decoded is a big shot at engine and uh, this guy here nicholas he works with uh, Ajuna, okay? So these two guys have definitely been speaking. You can bet that, right? And so, uh, yeah, I'm expecting some kind of partnership announcement between Engine and Ajuna, right? Just keep an eye out on that, uh, which is why I'm, I'm excited about this project. I do think it's gonna do great, uh, but we'll have to see because uh, we're still in that same situation, like with BitCountry, like with other projects like Moon River and Moonbeam where we've got the canary and the main one and we don't know where the main focus is going to be on if it's going to be uh, spent towards towards the main network which is ajuna in this case or if they're also going to give some love to baju right and for how long right will it only be at the beginning and then will it get abandoned 
or will they continue to provide support and to see those gaming integrations on both networks because right now as it stands with these two uh, different uh, coins and with these two ecosystems it's going to be uh, interesting to see how how things are going to be uh, how the market is going to be reacting so yeah just wanted to quickly say that thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye